Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's LEGO Robotics. Today we're going to showcase this LEGO EV3 Mindstorms ultrasonic sensor. We're going to talk a little bit about it and have some cool experiments with it. So if you want to see that, stay with me. And after watching this video, if you like what you see, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right there. Come on, I know you can do it. So some basic knowledge about this ultrasonic sensor. Um, it's sending out sound waves. It's kind of like sonar. It's sending out sound waves. And when it hits something, it comes back. It will register as, you know, knowing, knowing the distance, how far something is away. And it can actually trigger something within a program. So what's really neat is um, the real life connection to this would be, you know, for cars nowadays that have sensors where it can detect something's in front of it. Um, you know, when you walk to the store, you know, for some of those automatic door openers where it just senses that somebody's there and opens the door. I've shown you guys a video before about um, when I drive my car up to the gate where the gate just knows that my car is there. So it's one of those things where, you know, there's so many real life connections to the sensor and it's just a really neat sensor to have for the Lego EV3. So today I'm going to be doing some experiments just to show you um, what, what its range can be. I mean, we already know that it can go 255 centimeters out, but my curiosity is how is the range as far as how far out does it go? Is it a single beam? Does it spread out? And then I also want to go over some experiments as far as can it pick up something fast? So I'm going to show you the program and then put this thing through some experiments. So let's take a look at the program. Okay, I'm on my Lego Mindstorm software and it's super easy. It's just a weight block for the ultrasonic sensor. I'll make sure I plug it into four. If the ultrasonic sensor sees anything within or less than a hundred inches, it's going to activate a hello. So that's it. All I want it to do is detect and then give me a hello so I know that it sees it. Okay, so the program's on the robot. Um, the first experiment is going to be, can I move my hand so fast in front of the ultrasonic sensor that it doesn't even detect my hand? So let's try that. Ooh, didn't see me. Didn't see me again. Okay, so just to show you that it works, let me go slow. So the answer to that one is you can move your hand so fast it doesn't see you. Back up. Coming down. Back. Oh, okay, caught me there. So this ultrasonic sensor has some capabilities of seeing, but if it's too fast, it doesn't pick it up. Let's go up, back down, back up. Ooh, okay. So I guess you're gonna have to be super fast for this thing not to detect you. Let's go ahead now and see what the pattern is on what this can see. Okay, let me show you what I'm gonna do next. I have my robot set up. I have these papers on the table and I kind of mapped out a grid. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this roll of aluminum foil in each box just to see if the ultrasonic sensor can pick it up or detect it. And what I wanna do is basically have a pattern to see what the ultrasonic sensor can see and what it can't see. So maybe it's field of vision. And what is your guess? Do you think the field of vision is going to be somewhat narrow or do you think it's going to, you know, open up and spray out kind of to the sides? Uh, whatever your guess is, let's go ahead and find out.
Okay, so let's take a look at the pattern here. Whoa, I did not expect that. I expected um, maybe on this one here, the range would have been a little bit, like it wouldn't see maybe something here. So we can see that there's a blind spot in the ultrasonic right in here, and then right in here. But I am curious to see how far out the range might go. So let's test that. So I cut up some masking tape here. Let's see how far to the side this thing can actually see. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to come in a little bit. Okay, so it sees me there. Let me try putting it right there. I'm gonna, whoops, I'm gonna leave it right there. Let's turn on this program. Okay, so it does not see that right there. Let me try moving it. Okay. So if you can see, let me try that one more time. Let me turn this program on. Okay, so it sees it right there. Let me put that tape right there. Let me try going out a little farther, right there. Nope, doesn't see it there. Let me move it in. Okay, so. Put that there. Let's come over to this side here. Can it see that? Nope. Now what's funny is it saw, it saw it right there. So, okay, let's try that again. Okay, so it saw it right there. Let's try it right there. Nope. Okay, so it did see it. Okay. Now let me come right there. Ooh, so it did see that. Let me come as wide as right there. Nope, doesn't see that. Ooh, okay, I just... I didn't really even touch it and it came on. Okay. And let me come out maybe to here. Ooh, so I saw that. Okay, so let's take a look at the pattern here then. So it definitely didn't see right here, but you can see how there is a spray type pattern how it kind of branches out to the sides here. So for those of you that thought it was just a streamline, it's definitely not streaming. It's, it's like a spray bottle. It's just kind of going out if you can see that. So that's cool. Let's go ahead and see how far under or over the ultrasonic sensor it can see. Okay, everybody, we're looking at the side of my robot here. And so this next experiment's gonna be how far above and below the ultrasonic sensor can it sense? So we already saw from the pattern that it sprays out to the sides, but what about up and down? So I have my trusty foil uh, roll again. What I'm gonna do is just come up underneath it right here and see how far up it will see. Okay, so it was right about there. So it obviously can't go too far down. Uh, let me try this from above now. Let me tilt this up a little higher. Okay, let's try to now come above it. So let's see if I can get this into the picture. There's the roll. Okay. So the range above and below is not that high. You know, it's just, um, this was about as high up as it can see. I think it was down here. So 
the spray pattern is not as varied or wide as it was, you know, from side to side, which I kind of thought because, you know, there have been times where I've tested this out and it didn't really see a, too, too well above or below. Okay, well now let's go ahead and test out the ultrasonic sensor like we would for a car. So here's what I have for the program. I have a forward. The ultrasonic sensor is set for 30 centimeters, which is about 11 inches. And then it's going to stop for two seconds. So we want to see if this ultrasonic sensor, you know, can make the connection between a vehicle where it might apply brakes or just give you a warning. And so I have here this cup and what I'm going to do is just aim my robot at it. And um, I have a ruler here and we're going to see if it really is 11 inches away from the cup. So let's go ahead and set this thing in motion. Whoops. And let's go. Okay, so let me grab my ruler here and let's measure. And it might have, well, let's put it down and see. It's really kind of hard to tell. And 11 inches would have been right there. So it saw it uh, before 11 inches, which, you know, could be pretty good. So let's actually now set it for less. Let's go back here and set it for five centimeters, whoa. That's going to get pretty close. Okay, I set it for five centimeters here, and I actually stacked the cups here. The question is, do you think it'll stop in time before it knocks the cups over? Let's find that out. I mean, how good are the brakes on this thing? Ooh. So, if that was a car, we would have a, a little fender bender there. Okay, guys, so... There you go, the ultrasonic sensor. It's a really cool sensor. I'll be honest, it's not my favorite. Uh, the color sensor would probably be my favorite because you guys know I love color sensor, like sorters and things like that. Uh, but this guy really is cool. I mean, you know, if you're looking at, like we said, uh, sonar or radar, it's just a really cool sensor to help students understand, you know, real life and projects where you can, you know, connect it with cars connect it with, um, you know, alarms. So it's just really neat to have a sensor. And, you know, it's like a $50 sensor, but it's packed with a lot of knowledge and able to help students um, make that connection to real life things. So hopefully you liked it. Okay, guys, I am Mr. Hino from Mission Zega Robotics. I'm out. He's out. He's out. We got this. We got this. Guys. Hey guys, Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you love robotics, don't forget to check out these videos also because they're cool. Okay guys, take care.